uh, Brother Ice Cube, one of our famous legendary hip hop artists. I like him, yeah. Has come out now against those African American brothers and sisters in Hollywood who are asking a boycott of the Oscars. Right. I would say to Brother Ice Cube, brother, at this point in time, it is a legitimate stance that they are taking that Jada Smith got started with her internet boycotting proposal put forth to black people, proposing that we boycott. But Brother Ice Cube, don't melt on us now because he should stand with our people for this legitimate reason smart why she's asking for the Oscars to be boycotted. Their selection committee for who wins an Oscar is 94% white. That is not diverse. It is but not he inclusion. He, he knows what this but is about. Ice Cube should care about diversity in America because he has benefited from it. The older brothers and sisters, his parents and their parents, he fought started for out diversity, as a rat and now that he's benefited from it, don't condemn the very process, brother Ice Cube, that you have con that you have benefited from. We love you, brother. You are our brother, but don't condemn the process for others well, that you benefited from. Ice Cube gets it. He was a you know he was first in the rap business. Then he became an actor. Now he's a very expensive to get kind of actor and singer. The guy's got his own business. He gets it. He's running it correctly. He understands. And he also knows that this Oscar nonsense is nonsense. If you truly want to talk about the black and the white communities getting along and things that we need to talk about, well then let's do that. But the Oscars are movies. This is ridiculous no, to even bring Matt, this up. What I think that we as black people should do is that we have failed at the attempt to become so integrated in inclusion with white institutions to where all we have now is the illusion of inclusion. We don't have to beg white Hollywood to legitimize black actors and actresses. If we want to be recognized, we have our own institutions you to do exactly just that. We're together, right? No, we're sitting here together. Two but in, famous people yeah, are but, together. But we're sitting here together, but in principle and in reality, we're absolutely not together, Matt. But we're talking. We're as segregated as it can be because you live with white folk and I don't. You still have white friends and a very few black ones, and guess what? I have the same. Until we as a people stop seeing the color of the human being and start dealing with the content of characters, oh, Dr. King said, we're going to always friends. have these problems. I got a lot more black friends, uh, Mexican friends, women that you don't know about. Matt, you got because as many black friends. With me. You got as many black friends and Mexican friends as Donald Trump does. <laughs> and just like Donald Trump says, I'll be good for black people. I love the black people. That's like Hitler saying he loved Jews. You and we I, know better than that one. You and I are friends, Quinell, when the cameras go off because we're willing to smile at each other. When we come here and talk, when the cameras that's go a off, good we thing. are civil and respectful to one another. But at the end of the day, Matt, your beliefs don't your beliefs don't change in That's why we come here. So Matt, we come here to put forth issues that people are afraid to talk about. But we don't stop and say, I'm never going to speak to him again because I don't agree with him. I come every single week. And you have enough decency and self-respect for me not to bring your hood in when you come. I'm still thinking about it.